Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Now this card is not my idea. Um, I got the idea from this card from Nat Natalie Foot off her YouTube. Um, she used generic stuff. So I had a look to see what I could use out my Stamping Up stuff. And this is what I've come up with. Um, I'm going to be using the dies from Quiet... Is it Quiet Meadow? Yep. Yeah. Now I've got some already cut from ages ago. So I want one of them. And I want a piece of one of them. I think it's this piece. And I've got to cut one of them. Where's the inner bit? There it is. I also used Biggest Wishes and I used this Thanks. Let's get it out. If I can see it. Thanks. And I'm going to stick it on there because I actually use my um, stamp positioner, my small one. For the background, I just use my brushes and brush some ink on. And this one, background stamp, handwritten. I don't think I've ever used it. Or if I have, must have been only once or twice. So I thought I'd give that a go. It is retired, I'm afraid. Uh, and that's it, that's all I've used on this card. So, and I've got a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half, and two pieces of basic white. I've actually said it right this time. Um, of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, one for the front and one for the inside. So, we want one. I'll just put them to one side because we're going to work on this. Right, and I have got none of the colours I need for the background. Hang on. Crumb cake. There's smoky slate. Grey granite. No, that's not it. it. Must be this one. Smoky slate. Right. For the background, I have got smoky slate, soft suede, and crumb cake. Uh, I have actually got some of these. These were a gift from my upliner, uh, Michelle, for being a Stampin' Up demonstrator for five years, and she sent me them. I haven't used them because I've got all these brushes still. So I am just going to use these until they run out and then I will go start using them at the ones. Right. So So open them all. Right. And don't worry about getting it on the background because it's going to go in the bin when I've finished. And I'm just sweeping it on anywhere. Like that. And then I want some crumb cake. And just to
doesn't look any different at the moment. So much rattling on my table. Not too worried about that corner. Right, and some smoky slate. I think I added a bit of basic grey as well. grey to show up. Let me get some basic grey. Uh, the way the light's shining on my ink pad holder I can not read the labels. Right. This is going to be really dark, so that's all right. I just want bits of grey somewhere. And that looks like that. With the brown Ellie Espresso, I'm just going to go over the whole thing just to darken it up a bit. That'll do nicely. It's up. Right now we need this stamp. I'm gonna Make sure it's the right way up. Get my ink. Ink up really well. And I'm going to place this on here. Put a bit of paper and there we have it, which is nice. And I've just put my arm in it, hand in it. do next is we're going to rip it and I'm going to rip it from about there and I'm ripping it towards me and down to the middle at the side here and I'm also going to rip it here just a little bit because I want to turn these over. 
but before I do that I am going to with this and soft suede I am just going to go over the edge here just so that when I roll it over it's not white and I have got this tool here which distresses the edges with scissors and all. And then where I've ripped it, I'm going to roll it over and hopefully we'll see where I brushed it with the Fold it all over. And that will sit straight on there. Like that. But before we do that, we need to put our word thanks there, which I'm going to do now. Just roughly put that there so I can my word thanks down there pick it up and with my where's the fine don't reach it reason I'm doing this with this machine, this machine, this stamp positioner is because that's how it comes out after just one shot. I think I did the other one three times. So there's something on the H. Right, that would do lovely. And I'll just put that to the side to dry. Clean 
the stamp up. Cut out. I wonder if these scraps are big enough. Yeah. I do. to them weed right now we're going to color these in so I have got not them daubers Pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, old wheat, evening evergreen, and old olive. So I need old olive for the stem. And just This one is and this one I did in. Evening Evergreen. I don't know which door I used. It must have been the green one. There we are. Now with the green door 
I went round my leaves on this one and just added a little bit to the edge. of the leaves just so that they're not just plain green Does the light? Hope that's this colour. Yeah. There we are. And then pumpkin pie for this little bit. Set in the middle there, and that's that done. So, all we've got to do now is put the card together. Oh no, look, I missed a flower. What was this? Right, I'm going to pop this on first. I think I really should move this. Glue on there and stick that down in the middle. All right, this flower actually had a couple of dimensionals on the back of it. this side and this one like that oh that goes inside so let's stick these down I 
I did put glue on the stem of this and just had the body sticking up. <clears throat> and these were also glued down. I'll put this one just down here. And then the white card on the inside. And that is our card for today. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you give, uh, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Friday, a Monday and a Friday. Well, like I say, thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.